In this video, we're going to look at how you can set limits on the number of survey responses that are received and also how long it could be before somebody is able to actually submit their response and when they'll be prevented. So in other words, a time limit, a number of days in which they can actually provide the feedback. So I'm on a survey right here and this was one that was about an event. So there's likely going to be a time limit on that. I don't want to receive responses to a survey that is about something that happened months ago. Um, it needs to be timely feedback so we could actually do something with it. So what I'm going to do is over here at the top right we're going to click on the ellipsis and we're going to go into the settings area and we can see here that if we scroll down we have a stop survey section. Um, so it's basically saying the survey will be stopped if any of the conditions below are true. So the first one and this has existed for a while as a setting is an end date. So that would be the same date for every single person that we're, we're basically setting up a survey and we're saying, okay, this is gonna run for a month. It doesn't matter who's responding to it. The next one is we can set a maximum number of responses. So you can see if I try and put this too high, we'll get a message that says the value should be between one and 50,000. So we can't set it any higher than that. But let's say that you're doing something for a contest. Um, you could say, right, well, actually, the first 100 responses are going to be what's actually important to us. So we can set that as the maximum number of responses. So someone then tries to fill that out afterwards they're basically going to get a notification that the survey is closed and then the last one we've got is the number of days so if I hover my mouse over here we can see respondents will be able to complete the survey through the personalized link from the day of receiving the survey invitation till the specified number of days and the max value supported is 1095 and that actually calculates to about three years give or take with any leap years so with this I've set it for 10 days now what that means is whether I'm sending the survey out uh, within the forms pro functionality so if I send a survey here or if I have a, a power automate and I've got a flow set up and that is generating an invitation it's going to be also 10 days from the time in which that survey invitation is sent out so hopefully you'll see that these are two ways in which you can start to kind of control your surveys and the survey responses that are coming back through this might also be helpful in terms of that maximum responses if you're trying to keep an eye on costs so you don't want to just keep on getting all of these responses in so maybe you going to set that maximum responses um, to, to a number that allows you to control it. Uh, so hopefully that helps. Very quick, very short, but two new features, two new um, survey settings where you can actually stop the survey from uh, being possible for someone to fill that out based on maximum number of responses and maximum number of days. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.